So that's the last day in Belgium. We've just started packing the car now. Bit of a walk away, it's all the way down there. We're gonna have one little last look around Dinant. We wanna still buy some Belgian chocolates. We can't leave here and not buy Belgian chocolates. And just have a look at the sort of saxophones that are placed around as well. Cause obviously, well not obviously, but this is a place where the saxophone was invented uh, by a guy called Adolf Sax. See some of the saxophones. Uh, and then we're gonna head off to a cave system. Again, trying to make the most of our cultural visit, we stand here admiring the street art. For me though, even though it probably represents the war and the lives that have been lost and the destruction of Dinant, as well as the saxophone influence, it also kind of looks like an orgy with saxophones during an earthquake. Who knows, it could be both. So this guy here is the one who invented the saxophone. This is Adolf Sax and uh, he has a saxophone in his lap. It was actually quite interesting to see early concepts of the saxophone as we know it today. Just seeing the development, the, the patent, potentially the very saxophone, the very first saxophone that Adolf had ever made. And if you're ever in Dinant, I highly recommend going to the Maison de Monsieur Sax. It's free to enter, it's not a huge exhibit, so you won't lose tons of time there, but it's really informative, it's really interesting, especially if you're into music. And of course, you can't come to Belgium and not purchase some authentic Belgian chocolate. It would be a crime if you did that. And as it was our last day, we went to one of the popular chocolatiers and just bought a ton of it. So we've just left the main town of Dinant and we're heading now, well we're headed to the uh, caves nearby. It's like a five minute drive outside the town. We literally missed the tour by about 10 minutes. So uh, we've booked on to the next one, which is not for another 45 minutes, unfortunately. But you know, it's fine. It gives me a chance to walk back to the car and get my jacket, because I suspect I'm probably going to need it. system now and uh, it's in pretty good condition the steps and the stairs and stuff are all like perfect stairs Mind your head. so here are some interesting facts about this cave this cave is the only one in Europe that is owned privately by a family at the end of the Second World War, the cave served as a hiding place for civilians of Dinant until the liberation. It's been a while since I recorded the trip to recording this voiceover, so I am reading from Wikipedia. Going down from the ceiling to the bottom, and stalagmites, those are growing from bottom to top.
I also want to give a shout out to Insta360 for making such a beautiful camera that captures 360 degree video and photos that give this incredible third person perspective. They're not a sponsor in this video, but I thought you guys might like to know how I managed to achieve these shots. Coming up to 20 past 2. Um, Which so means we need to get a move on. Yeah, we've still got a good bit of time, yeah. So we've got to make our way down to, up to, well, up to Calais Port now. It'll take about three hours to get there. As always, a journey back is never fun. Besides coming to the end of our trip, we also had a three hour journey ahead of us just to get to Calais and then another three hours to get home. We were up against the clock to make sure we could get to the ferry on time and it was motorway for pretty much the entire way. Well, we got back to the ferry port in enough time, uh, 45 minutes, enough time, uh, but because it just took forever, um, so we ended up missing the ferry. Well, technically it's still here, but it's too late to board. It doesn't actually leave for another 15 minutes before it departs. And uh, we're not allowed on. So we have to wait now till the next ferry, which is 5 to 8 is the next one. Uh, which means you don't get back home until half 11 and midnight, probably the latter. I can honestly say that after this trip, my first European road trip, it has given me inspiration. I'm already planning an Eastern, Central and Western European road trip. So Europe, this is definitely not goodbye. <laughs> 